if you're trying to get pregnant, you probably know that there are several parts of your body that need to work properly in order for a pregnancy to happen. Um, your ovaries have to produce the uh, have to produce eggs every month. Your uterus has to be in good shape, and your fallopian tube should not be blocked. Hormonal problems can actually lead to the ovaries not producing egg cells every month. Um, the uterus can actually have anatomical problems with, which will make the uh, pregnancy a little more difficult. And fallopian tubes can be blocked, the more common reason of which is infection. Getting a thorough history of your symptoms can actually help us diagnose if you have hormonal imbalances and we combine this with requesting for laboratory tests as well as um, ultrasound procedures. Uterine anomalies or anatomical problems in the uterus can also be diagnosed using ultrasound. And HSG or hysterosalpingogram can actually diagnose if you have a blocked fallopian tube. Now let's talk about HSG. A hysterosalpingogram is a diagnostic test using x-ray to visualize both your uterus and um, fallopian tubes. It usually lasts for 5 to 15 minutes depending on the level of comfort of the patient and usually this is done at, right after menstruation and before ovulation to ensure that you are not pregnant. Now, during HSG, uh, a small cannula is inserted inside your cervix and a fluid with iodine is introduced inside the uterine cavity. A negative result shows um, the egress of fluid or you will see actually the fluid flowing out of the fallopian tube and this will be seen in the x-ray plate. And a positive result will show the pooling of fluid inside the fallopian tube without any spillage. So what is the implication of this? Now, if there is a blocked tube, the sperm and the egg cannot meet. Or if there is still a very small opening that is present, the sperm can actually um, traverse the small opening and uh, fertilize the egg. However, the fertilized egg, since, this, since it is bigger, cannot actually reach the uterus. And this can actually result in ectopic pregnancy. When you're diagnosed with blocked fallopian tubes, your doctor will actually discuss all options for you and one of which is IVF. So one big question is how do you prevent getting blocked tubes? And it's similar to actually the prevention that you need to do or the things that you need to do to prevent in developing STDs and that is actually practicing safe sex, um, practicing monogamy or one partner only and do not indulge in risky sex behavior.